Okay, in this video we're going to talk about autopilot. Okay, we're going to talk about sequences in autopilot and what the autopilot is in terms of smart autoresponders. Before you watch this video, you should have already watched the smart forms, the messages and the contacts video because it all comes together with the autopilot. So hopefully you've watched the other videos first and now we're going to go into the autopilot. Okay, so let's go and have a look at our send pepper. Let's jump into send pepper. Uh, of course, we're in the contacts tab, so go to autopilot tab. And assuming you have watched the other videos, then you'll know that um, there's a list here. You'll know that at the top right is add. You've got a search box here. You've got groups to be able to organize, and you've also got the edit, copy, delete. And what's different for sequences is that you've got this play button which you can pause or you could play. Um, play, of course, means it's active and it's live. Pause means turn it off for now. You don't delete it, you just pause it, which means you can be quite dynamic with your marketing. Okay. Now, as well, if you followed the other videos, then um, you know that we created one called Fast Track as part of the Smart Form. So here is the Fast Track sequence example. And it's got no subscribers, no emails, because I only just created it for you. So let's go and have a look at this. Firstly, if I click on the words here, it opens up the information below to show you actually what's happened in the sequence or the steps in the sequence. And this one's blank, so that it's blank below. Let me go and click on the edit sequence. So now this tells you, takes you through step by step what you need to do. You want to call it a name, so that's the name that I'd called it, Fast Track Sequence Example. So you want to call it a name that you can understand and it makes sense for your business, this name here. The public name and public description is what other people will see. Okay, if they go to your unsubscribe page, so you actually want to call it something here that is customer facing. Okay, for these two. So customer facing name and a brief description that customers can see. So it really reminds them why they signed up for something like this, like your list. Now, do you want people to be unsubscribed after last step, after the last step of your sequence, or do you want them to stay inside the sequence? If it's a very fixed sequence and you only have five messages and you only ever want to send five messages, then once you've written the five messages, you can click unsubscribe the contact from this sequence after five. What I like to do is I would add new messages over time. And so every time you add a new message, then the pair, if they're still in that sequence, they'll get it. Okay, and what that also allows is that you can build up a sequence that if someone then starts at the beginning of the sequence, let's say you've built up 10 messages and you've written one message a week, then every person who signed up originally at the very beginning at week one when you wrote week one message will have received the messages one a week. What it also allows then, if someone then goes on your smart form and gets added to the sequence, there's then 10 weeks of marketing right in front of them and they will be delivered a step at the periods that you've defined, which you'll understand in a second. Long story short, leave that unticked if you're not sure. Run the sequence on weekdays only. That's really good um, from a perspective of most people in front of their email at weekdays rather than weekends and show an unsub. Okay, so out of those, I would usually likely only tick that one. Okay, so you can copy that. Now we move into the sequence manager. So it says add a step, email or add print. <clears throat> now, if you were to upgrade SendPepper for the different levels, so right now the one that you're looking at on my screen is the $29 a month. Um, if you actually go up the levels to Jalapeno and all the other levels above, you'd actually have more options in the steps here. So tasks and rules and um, in the Office Autopilot, which is the big brother of SendPepper, $279 a month, there is about six or seven options in these steps. But for now, I'm, I'm explaining that from a context perspective, but you just click on one of these, so add a step. Okay, I'm gonna click on add an email. 
and there appears the email. Okay, I can click on this a few times and it'll add them and I can just click the delete button to tidy it up. Do you want to delete? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, day zero. So this first one says send zero days after the previous step. And because there's no steps before it, then that means this one sends straight away. Okay. What you can then do is your second email in the queue. Okay, there's your first email, there's a second email. We can say send seven days after the previous step. You can pick which day of the week you want it to send on, what time of the day, click save step. Don't worry about that for now, that's just, it's because it's empty. But see that we've got the first email is day zero and the second email is day seven. And what you want to do here is once you've actually made some updates, you want to click save step and you also want to click save sequence. So I'm going to press save sequence now to make sure this gets saved. Okay, and then we'll go back into fast track and I can edit this here. And back in I go. This is what I've just set up. So I actually only want that first email to be sent Monday to Friday. I've already ticked this weekdays, but actually with all my emails, I say I only want them to be sent Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. But for your very first one, because they're just signing up, I would say have them all. Okay. So that they, they get whatever you've promised them straight away, which would also mean you take that off at the top. Immediately as well, you can say, do you want to delay it 15 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. So you can choose. Okay, but you'd mostly use immediate. <clears throat> and then here is where we then go and pick our message that we've written in our message tab. We select our stored message. Okay. So I created the test one for fast track before. <clears throat> and it's brought all of the information in for me. It's brought the information here, okay, and put the text version in for us as well. And then I can just click save, okay? And then I click save step. We know that that was 3.3 .3 from the message before. And straight away that's brought it in for me, so I'm done. And that will be sent, step one. Now remember as well, I don't know if you've watched the video about the message templates, but you wouldn't bring your template across here. You'd go and create the multiple emails in the message window, replicating your template, write the messages in the message window, and then you'd be pulling them into your sequence once they've been written in the messages. Okay. Your second message. Now this is where I would now start filtering and start saying, okay, I don't want to be sent on any of those. I only want them to send Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And by the way, I would actually send mine at about 8.30 in the morning um, or 7.30 in the morning. And you can change it around a little bit so it looks more human. So you can have this one go out at 7.30. Okay, and I can add the email the next one. See, it's just added in another one here. I change it to 14, uh, seven days after the previous step. So it's always after the previous step. Okay, some solutions out there say from when they signed up, but this one is from step before it. So I'd have this one, say so click on here, seven days, and I'll, I'll say that I want that at 7.30 in the morning. I'll click save. And then this one, I want this one to go out at 8.30. Actually, let me, seven days from the previous step, untick these and I change it to 8.30. So it makes it look a little bit more human. It makes it look like I'm actually logging in and I'm sending them a message. And you can see here, day zero, day seven at 7.30 a.m., day 14 at 8.30 a.m. So you can start to see this building up. Now what we do here is we then go and pick the messages we want. Okay, I'll just pick that one, just it's one that I've already written. Okay. Save step. See 1.3. I'm happy with that. And it tells you this email looks good. 
thank you very much so that one's in there that one's in there and now for this next one okay I'll go and just pick a third one just as a random email actually just I just randomly picked the same one let me pick that one okay again it's all written it's pulled it from a message page and I click save step and that's spam score zero which is great so that's a really good spam score now I've done that I want to click save sequence so always make sure you click save sequence because if you don't you'll lose it again it'll take you back to the sequences here I just type in uh, actually sorry this was fast track and now if I click on this see before this was empty and now it started to populate the emails that we've set up okay and if I click on the edit back and we go and we've got it here we can now add as many as we want we can have the days it can be seven days it can be 50 days and actually let me show you this this one in the middle so it says seven days after previous steps if I change that to um, 21 days so three weeks and click save yep it says save see that it's automatically said okay this one's at 21 and then it's automatically moved this one to day 28 because this one was seven days after the previous step so it automatically moves it for you now if you've only got one email written and you're saying great Jamie I don't have 260 odd emails to choose from I've only got one written fine just create your first email in the messages create your first autopilot and pull it in and as long as you haven't clicked the unsubscribe then when people sign up then you can when you're ready write more messages and then add them in and if someone's been in your list for a month but you set up the next email to be seven days then when you set it up even if they've been in there a month they'll get it as soon as you set it up and press save sequence they will get it but it also means that anytime someone signs up new then the second email they would get at whatever day so that's the great thing about SendPepper it allows it to be dynamic it means that you don't have to rush to get things in you can just write an email when you're ready and add it to autopilot so after about a month or three months you could have built up actually quite a nice marketing campaign here using the autopilot sequence okay so that's actually how you use autopilot okay pull the message in do not write messages in here do not write them you can tweak them in here but do not write them in here write the messages in the message tab and then pull them in using the stored message and that's how you create sequences in autopilot any questions at all let me know but hopefully you will be able to get started and start getting people through the smart forms into your contacts straight into your autopilot and start marketing to them pretty much today so good luck and let me know how you go